All right, what's going on? Welcome inside the 2023 GMC Yukon. I've got the top trim, the most premium trim ever made uh, by GMC. This is the Denali Ultimate. This now comes in uh, five trim levels. Denali Ultimate is now number five. And I'm saying goodbye to it. Now, my goal is to give you a lot of value on this channel, whether it's the news updates, um, quick look videos, reviews, product reviews sometimes, even going out on assignments to press re press launches. So I'm just going to say goodbye to this. We'll give you some highlights, some takeaways, even though I already have a couple of videos online about this. But this might be your first video. You're going, who's this crazy guy wearing shorts in the snow? This is just Dave. So this bad boy right here has three different engine options. I've got the... The middle engine, there is a, I think it's a 5.3, 5.2. I got a 5.7 V8. There's also a three liter diesel turbo. These numbers are, it's in the other video. Anyhow, I just know that this, uh, it's a gas sucker. It's like 14 city, 19 highway. Uh, it's also pretty expensive. If I recall, the price is between like 50 and 90, something like that. Again, it's in the full review, but since you're just watching this, you want to get a ballpark figure on this thing. But this is very family friendly and more. I've had a lot of fun with it this week. Uh, I actually had got an extra day with it, luckily. So when you get it, you got power running boards that open up. Very convenient to get inside. I got uh, this has a seven or nine seat configuration for families. Got the car seats in here right now. I'm going to clear this out here in a second. Um, captain's chairs in the middle. These seats are a little crazy. I just took the kids to school. Uh, but lots of seating options. And one of my favorite things is this entertainment system. They've got already pre-programmed on here, YouTube and YouTube Kids on both of them. So I'm able to control that in the cabin with uh, sharing the screen. They can also hear this the music, the songs of whatever the show is or watching inside. You'll see that in the video. And then you got the, the back here, which has two different options. It's on the key fob. Let's do that here. It's on the key fob. Oh, yeah. I got a Lexus over there. That's also one of my new press vehicles. So with the key fob, by the way, this has an enormous amount of cargo space compared to the competition. So you got the double here. That brings this one up. And then you're inside this area. About 25 cubic feet of volume here. And then this one here opens all of it. This, oops, other way. I can bring these seats upward, up, and also flat with a push of a button here. Same thing with the middle rows. You can lower the middle rows as well, which I have as demonstration in the previous videos. I'm not sure if you call that much storage, but a little something right there. When you're ready to go, you can press the button right here, which uh, the kids love doing. A lot of buttons, a lot of toggle switches, automatic start-stop feature, lane departure warning, hill descent control, 360 camera shows all the way around the car. You got auto, two high, four high, four low. Back this way, go ahead and turn it on, show you some of the cool features. Wireless charging pad down here, climate controls, as you can see. This screen, you can slide left and right. There's the rear media. YouTube Kids, I can share it to the second screen. And once it's the second screen, I can listen in on whatever they're, they're uh, watching, so I'm aware of what's going on. This also offers Apple CarPlay. There's a wireless hotspot here, trailering. There's the camera, which I want to show you here. Cameras. You can see all the way around the vehicle. They have this beautiful panoramic sunroof, moonroof, whatever you want to call it. I mean, some people call the stationary ones just a moonroof. If you can open it, people will call it a sunroof does have the option to open up for air, but I got snow up there. Anyways, all the way back. But generally speaking, even though this is a very expensive vehicle, gas mileage isn't that great. When it comes to a family hauler, seven to nine passengers, road trips, uh, off-roading if you need to, hauling, did I mention hauling? It's pretty comfortable. We, we, when we were going through driving it this week going, hey, this is actually pretty nice. Uh, it's expensive, but pretty nice. And if you're looking for a Tahoe, same vehicle. This is the 2023 GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate. I'll put some links below. You can see the other videos I've created. But I'm saying goodbye. I'm just trying to give you more content just in case you haven't seen my other stuff. This is this car. All right. See ya. Thanks for watching. Adios.
One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.